Well, welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to today's podcast. My name is Paul Fletcher, and this is The Healing Source. And we are initiating a new series this week. This will be a long series. It will actually be a series of 10 podcasts. And we are initiating the series called The Ten Da. Da is spelled D-A. The Ten Da is a phrase that represents the 10 greatest qualities. Qualities of what? The 10 greatest qualities in life. So where did these 10 greatest qualities originate from? Well, the first time that I heard about these qualities listed in the order that I will be sharing with you is from my teacher, Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Now, Master Sha does not lay claim to to having made up these 10 qualities himself. As with his 30 books, as with everything that he brings to humanity, he receives it through divine spiritual guidance. So I'm going to take a minute and give you just a little more wisdom and information here. Dr. and Master Jigong Sha is an educated Western medicine doctor. He's an educated Eastern medicine doctor, and he has, a, you know, an entire history of doing extraordinary healing for um, many, many, many thousands of people. He facilitates the transformation of their negative messages and information and into positive messages and information in their personal vibration. And the end result is they are no longer ill. They are no longer having issues with whatever they were having issues with. <clears throat> so he still takes no credit for any of this. He gives all the credit to the source as he does the 10 dot qualities and the information in the 30 books that he has written. Curiously enough, I have been in some of his live events when he has um, picked up one of his books and he starts reading it. And he looks over at one of his top teachers and says, what does that word mean? (laughs) And he's done this many times. And then he uh, apologizes to the audience. He says, I'm sorry, um, English is not my first language. I only took one year of English in college. And when I wrote this book, I did not write it. God flowed it through me. And so this is an understanding of where the 10 Da's and the 10 greatest qualities came from. Dr. Master Shah works with and for the source, and his whole purpose in life is to bring the wisdom that we refer to as Tao wisdom, which is basically source wisdom, to serve humanity and help uplift humanity, not to guide them to have a specific belief system or a specific way of thinking, uh, but to give them an opportunity to open their consciousness to a way of understanding this life. Uh, outside of the dogmas and the doctrines and more towards an alignment with oneness and source. This is his, uh, his motive, which is to assist and bless humanity, help them to rise above anything that would inhibit and limit their health, their wellness, their consciousness. <clears throat> the 10 da qualities were flowed by Master Shah as he connected to the source and they are listed as follows. Number one is Da I, the greatest love. Number two, Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Number three, Da Tsi Bei, the greatest compassion. Number four, Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. Number five is Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. Number six is Da He Xie, the greatest harmony. Number seven is Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. Number eight is Da Gan An, the greatest gratitude. Number nine is Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. And number 10 is Da He
da <laughs> give me a minute it's not easy to remember all 10 of these in a row um, uh, the greatest enlightenment i'll remember the mandarin chinese word in just a minute <clears throat> each of these 10 qualities love forgiveness compassion and light humility harmony flourishing gratitude service and enlightenment are all exceptionally important in bringing about transformation in humanity and that starts with us bringing about this transformation to each of ourselves on an individual basis when we practice each of these qualities in every aspect of our life the transformation you will experience in your life will literally be exponential that is not an understatement the reason you can and will experience such extraordinary transformation by practicing the greatest love forgiveness compassion light humility harmony flourishing gratitude service and more is because when you actually do it when you actually incorporate the greatest love in every thought in every word and in every action then this literally brings forth the manifestation of love into your life love melts all blockages that is a one sentence secret that dr and master shah has brought to us and when we bring the greatest love to every thought, to every word, and to every action, not only will you feel better, but every person that you interact with will feel better. More importantly, or equally importantly, is the understanding that by being conscious in every moment, and when somebody says something to you that might have initially hurt uh, because of your teachings if you truly react and respond from a place of greatest love then that person's uh, anger or resentment or their their barbed words whatever the case may be they no longer have a negative energy that is entering your vibration because that doesn't enter your vibration you now hold and represent a vibration that can not only uh, bless you but transform them you can give love back even though they gave you something that was not filled with love and you can share with them how to be the light how to be a example of love this affects your present moment it affects your personal vibration it disallows negativity to enter your field because you're monitoring and being conscientious of the greatest love in every thought, in every word, and in all of your actions. And by living in each moment with this purposeful consciousness, you are literally creating a much more aligned and healthful health conscious future your heart not your physical heart but your spiritual heart becomes significantly more open and when that happens your connection to source becomes more obvious you and source have always been one i am in source source is in me i am in Tao. Tao is in me but the words fall on deaf ears if our hearts are closed. Our hearts tend to be closed in various levels, each person is different, because we do not operate in the consciousness of Da I, the greatest love, the first quality. There are countless books written about love, but most of them are not in this vein of consciousness these countless books are written about falling in love finding true love why can't i have love when you become love by walking talking breathing 
thinking, speaking, and acting in the greatest love, you then purify your own frequency and vibration, your own heart, your own vessel. You become the emissary of the greatest love. You become that which you desire. Because the greatest love is already within you. It has never not been within you. And so when we look at this quality of the greatest love and the other 10 qualities over the course of the next 10 weeks that I'll be sharing with you, you can start, just start to grasp the great importance of bringing this quality to the forefront of your every thought, word, and action. Now, in my previous podcast, I spoke about creation and manifestation. And I'm not going to regurgitate that information. Go back and watch the previous podcasts. It talks about how our tomorrow, our next week, and our next year is predicated upon the predominant energies that we bring into our day-to-day vibration. Where is our thoughts, our words, and our actions? Those thoughts, words, and actions today create in our field a vibration. And that vibration then brings forth to the manifestation of tomorrow and the next day and what we experience. When we consciously work with the qualities of the ten da in every thought, word, and action, it is impossible to have a future that is not filled with great happiness, joy, success, flourishing, and everything else you've ever desired. It's simply not possible to have that, to not have that, excuse me, because when we uh, make time and when we remain conscious, we literally are monitoring our moments. So these 10 da qualities each have a phrase associated with them that can assist us to understand both their value, their purpose, and the end result they are trying to accomplish. We want to make sure that the comprehension of these 10 dot qualities is as simple as possible, and yet we want to move from just the comprehension to the actualization of these qualities. This is not a a one-off communication where you say, oh, that was nice. Okay, that makes sense, yay. Now I'll move on to my next trauma or I'll move on to my next irritation or I'll move on to my next drama with the boss or the coworker or the spouse. If you continue to default back to the normal moments of your life and you choose because it is a choice to not purposely and consciously actualize these very simple common sense qualities into your thoughts words and actions then how can you possibly expect any change in your life right what is that sentence that people say if you do the same things you've always done then you'll get the same things you've always gotten. And so if you desire change, if you want change, it doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be something that you expend a lot of time and effort on to accomplish the change that you desire. You can simply work with one of these qualities on a consistent basis. And I would suggest starting with work with one of these qualities for a full week. In this case, work with the greatest love. Make an internal and external commitment. For every internal thought I have, I will check myself. Is this thought filled with love for myself? Is this thought that I have about another filled with love? If it is not, instantly ask forgiveness and instantly reverbiage that thought towards another or towards yourself to be filled with love. This is consciousness. The next thing that it would be very smart to do is to pay attention to your words. 
Remember, your thoughts precede your words. Might not seem that way sometimes because they fly out of your mouth so quickly. But when you are conscientious of your words, you can positively affect the way other people receive what you say, which then does not create resistance between you, but in fact, it creates positivity between you. In the previous episodes, I have spoken of quantum entanglement. When you have a negative thought, it quantumly entangles you and yourself or another. When you have a positive thought, it quantumly entangles you and another positively. It's the same for our words. And we want these entanglements with all souls to be uh, enhancing, uh, self-supportive. We want these 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 interactions because interactions are unavoidable unless you're living in a cave by yourself you will have interactions and so you want to be responsible for those and choose love-filled thoughts love-filled words and love-filled actions my teacher uh, would catch people his own teachers and he would catch them saying things that were not filled with love and, and instead of uh, uh, saying something that was sharp as you know, hard teaching, which is not uncommon for a, a, a high quality spiritual teacher, instead of a sharp, hard teaching, he would say something like, there are three ways to say everything. Always choose the best way. Now, I'm sure he didn't invent that. That's probably an ancient proverb but it carries a great deal of wisdom with it. I want each of you to pause. Take a look at your life. Are you truly happy from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep? Did you you walk through your day filled with joy and happiness, free completely of worry, fear, completely free of any kind of, of concerns of what might come out of your mouth or what kind of random phone call or email might be filled with negativity, right? Most of us cannot say that our days are filled with that sort of a freedom. Why not? Nobody is more special than anybody else. We've all been endowed with the same qualities of the same source. And those qualities include these 10 dot qualities. We can all activate them the same way, but why haven't we? We have collectively and individually chosen to operate out of our dramas, to operate out of our circumstances that we believe are outside of our control. Now, granted, maybe there is some negative messages and information that has entered your vibration because of the ancestral nature of things, or because of your previous thoughts, words, and actions that you've collected into your vibration. And maybe we have been uh, unaware or ignorant of those prior to today, but that is no longer an excuse once you understand that. What is your excuse for being miserable? What is your excuse for having less than what you desire? Creating what you want is not so difficult if you place your intention in the right direction. The highest form of service is service towards another. That service can be as simple as positive thoughts, positive words, and positive actions, starting with the greatest love, because the greatest love melts all blockages. Now, I want to share with you the four phrases of this Tanda quality that my teacher has, has made available to me. To all of us, excuse me. And here it is. Now, it's Mandarin Chinese and then translated into English. Okay? Yi shi da ai. The first and greatest quality of the Tao, Tao is source, of the source, is greatest love. The next line, wu tiao jian ai. Give unconditional love. Line number three, rong hua zainan, melt all blockages and challenges. Love melts all blockages and challenges. This is extremely important to grasp. 
the fourth and final line. Xin Qing Sheng Ming translates to heart, your spiritual heart is clear and transparent and your soul is enlightened. Now he's even uh, created a mantra, a song that goes with this. I will sing it to you now. I invite you to close your eyes and I will actually give everybody a healing here today. I will ask my healing transmission of my Tao hands to please turn on. I will ask my downloads and treasures, uh, including my Bora download treasure light ball and my diamond heart light ball that I've received to offer a blessing to everyone that is uh, that agrees to receive at this time. If you do not want to receive, then just, you know, just speak uh, to heaven. Say, I'm not ready to receive this. And that's okay. You will not. If you go back and listen to it and you're ready, then you will. So prepare. I will give everybody a blessing of the greatest love. Open your heart, receive the light. One more time. You might notice that you feel a little lighter, a little more aligned. Greatest love melts all blockages. Most of us spend a good chunk of our life in a state of mental, emotional pain because somebody did something towards us or we didn't do something that we wanted to do or we're suffering in a place of fear or anger or worry or depression. All of these restrict your spiritual heart from being open. Your spiritual heart is often referred to as your heart chakra. I can tell you from personal experience that I have had clients come into my uh, office and in doing the Tao healing for them, non-touch, energy transformation, the pain, literal physical pain, physical pain in their back, in their shoulders, in their neck was gone within 10, 15 minutes of offering a spiritual healing for their heart chakra, where they were holding emotional and mental pain. And their physical back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain was completely gone. They'd been carrying it for months. So if you've ever had the thought that, uh, you know, back pain or physical pain is completely separate from your spiritual body, <laughs> think again. When you spend time and you commit to take every thought, word, and action and to check it against the greatest love, is that thought filled with the greatest love towards myself or towards other? Is those words that I am ready to speak or want to speak or have just spoken filled with greatest love? Can I rephrase that in a way that carries more love, does not have any pokes or jabs or resentments associated with it? Is there a way that I can instantly ask forgiveness Forgive myself for those thoughts or those words. Ask forgiveness for those thoughts or those words that might not have been carrying the greatest love frequencies and qualities. Your actions obviously 
need to carry the greatest love about them. No one realizes just how difficult this might be until they actually put it into action. Because we are so um, patterned, we have our reactions, our responses, uh, our choice of words. They're so built on patterns of old hurts and old pains and old agendas and old beliefs and old um, ways of doing things. So although it sounds quite easy to do what I'm saying, I challenge you, I challenge you for one week this week to be conscientious of your thoughts, your words, and your actions, specifically gauge them against, do they carry the energy, the quality of the greatest love? And watch what happens when you start monitoring and and being conscientious about what you say, do, and think. You could be quite surprised that some of those that in the past, even in the just a day or two ago, a week or two ago, they might react very uh, negatively towards you. They could respond with an apology. They could respond with a, I'm sorry or um, some nice words. You could be quite shocked at the, the reverberation that comes back towards you. Life is a boomerang. What we put out is what we receive. If you are not enjoying what you are receiving in life, the fastest way to reverse whatever it is, and truly, I tell you, it does not matter what the excuse, what the label you have on that thing. That label could be heavy depression. That label could be I'm poor as dirt. That label could be I can't find true love. It truly doesn't matter the label that you have put on it. I challenge you over these next 10 weeks to exemplify each of these qualities one by one for a full week to just be conscious of your moments. And this week we're focusing on the da I. And if you truly become present, apply what is being shared each and every moment as much as you can possibly do it is extremely unlikely that at the end of these 10 weeks, you will not have significant shift in this label, in this story of your suffering that you have grown so attached to and has spent so much time recreating day after day after day. If you're not enjoying what you're creating, the 10 da qualities carry within them all the attributes and abilities to transform the entirety of your life. So the gauntlet has been thrown down. And my encouragement is that you pick it up and say, I will do this. I will be responsible for my thoughts, words, and actions. And this week, I will monitor them for the greatest love. For all of those of you who are not familiar with me or just stumbled across this podcast, make sure you like and subscribe. I do individual healings. I have membership programs where every day I do healing for you. I have five 30-minute sessions every day that you can watch live or on recording anywhere in the world. And I even have a free five-day trial program. So if any of that is of interest to you, make sure you go to wellspringoflight.com. Or you can reach out to me at paul at wellspringoflight.com and I will connect with you and do my best to serve you. Until next week, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.